Moses and the burning bush. Moses was looking after the flock of his father-in-law, Jethro. He led them to the far side of the wilderness to graze, by a mountain called Horeb. He watched a bush that had caught fire and noticed that it did not burn up. So Moses decided to take a closer look. Suddenly God called to him from inside the burning bush. Moses. Here I am Lord Moses replied. God told Moses to take off his shoes for he was standing on holy ground. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob God said. At this, Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. God told Moses that he had seen the suffering of the Hebrew slaves. He was going to rescue them and lead them to a land where they would be free, a land flowing with milk and honey. Go to Pharaoh and bring my people out of Egypt, God instructed Moses. Moses began making excuses. Who am I, Lord that you would send me? And God said, I will be with you. And this will be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you, when you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship me on this mountain. But if I go to the Hebrew leaders, who should I say sent me Moses asked. Tell them, I am who I am, has sent you. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is my name forever, the name you shall call me, from generation to generation. God instructed Moses to go to the leaders of Israel with the message that God was going to rescue them from slavery and lead them to the land he had promised. Moses and the leaders were then to go to tell Pharaoh to let the Hebrews go, so that they can go, and worship God in the wilderness. Moses continued making excuses. But what if they won't listen to me he asked. God asked Moses what he held in his hand. A staff, replied Moses. Throw it to the ground said the Lord. When he threw it to the ground, it became a snake. Moses was scared and jumped away from it. Reach out your hand and take the snake by the tail said the Lord. As Moses grabbed the snake's tail, it turned back into a staff. This sign will help them believe. The Lord said. Now put your hand inside your cloak. Moses put his hand inside his cloak, but when he pulled it back out it was white with a terrible skin disease called leprosy. Now put your hand back in your cloak God ordered. When Moses pulled his hand out from his cloak a second time his hand was healed. If the Hebrew leaders don't believe these two signs, then take some water from the Nile and pour it on the dry ground. I will make the water turn to blood, the Lord told Moses. But Moses again began making excuses. I find it hard to speak well or very clear. The Lord replied. Who gave people their mouths? I will help you speak and teach you what to say. But Moses still made excuses. Please send someone else to do this. God became angry with Moses. Your brother, Aaron the Levite, can speak well. He is on his way to meet you. You shall speak to him and put words in his mouth, I will help both of you speak and will teach you what to say and do. He will speak to the people for you, and it will be as if he were your mouth. God said, take the staff in your hand so you will be able to perform miracles. Moses returned to his father-in-law Jethro and asked his permission to return to his people in Egypt. Jethro replied. Go, I wish you well. Aaron had already been told by God to travel to meet them. Moses put his wife and sons on donkeys ready for the journey. The Egyptians, who remembered what you did wanted revenge are now all dead, God reassured Moses. The two brothers met up at Mount Horeb, the mountain of God, and welcomed each other. Moses shared with Aaron all that God had told him. Then they all set out for Egypt to tell the Hebrew leaders that God had plans to rescue them. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Share and leave a comment. Subscribe.